Howdy. Okay, friends, it's time to get serious about something. I need to talk to you about something that should be on the absolute top of your priority list of things to know about and to learn about and to budget for before you move to Monte Ecuador. This is probably going to be the most viewed, most talked about, and probably definitely probably the most uh, important topic ever discussed on this channel. I'm talking about the price of beer. I'm going to do that when I come back. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know why I this how this slipped my mind. I this this is a very important topic and I should have been talking about this. Hell this should have been my very first video, you know, talk about the price of beer in Ecuador and on top of all that, not only am I gonna talk about the price of beer, but I'm gonna throw in a couple prices on some uh some hard liquor and some wine as well. But somebody wrote to me the other day and asked me you know, for the straight scoop on the price of a six pack of beer. And I had to stop and think, you know, I didn't know because I buy beer and wine at the grocery store every week. It's probably, beer and wine probably takes up probably 20% of my grocery budget. It's, it's, uh, I drink uh, a bottle or uh, not a bottle, but a, I drink a beer, sometimes two beers every day pretty much every day. And then I have a, uh, after I eat dinner, then I like to have a glass of red wine. That's pretty much my alcohol consumption. But guys, I'm finally, you know, it came to my senses here and decided to make, do this video about the, the price of beer. And, and you're going to get the straight scoop from me. I got all these prices the other day, I think on the 21st, I went to Mega Maxi and here in Monta, and you're going to see pictures throughout this video, and I might even just do a slideshow. And for those of you that would, would like a, a copy of the beer slideshow, leave me a note in the comment section. I'll be happy to send you uh, one so you can uh, view it in your own time. And, you know, when you're bored and don't have anything to do, you can look at beer from Ecuador. <laughs> So, ah, uh, God. So, anyway, here we go. Beer, the beer is plentiful here. And I tell you, the beer here is really good. I think it's good. I've never really been much of a beer drinker. I've always thought that there's only two kinds of beer in this whole world. The kind you can see through and the kind that you can't see through. But I'm never, I know somebody's going to argue with me on that. So, uh in Ecuador, there's there's two there's actually three beers according to a website that I found called RateBeer.com. They you can get a ranking of all the different beers from different countries throughout the world. And in Ecuador, let me look at my notes here right quick because I wrote this down. There are two beers that are ranked number one here in Ecuador, and one of these I've never heard of, and I've tried to find it in the store and couldn't find it, but two beers ranked number one in Ecuador, and that is Pilsner Light and another beer called Biela. That's B-I-E-L-A. There was one beer, according to RateBeer.com, that ranked number two, and that's just the regular Pilsner. And then the number three is the Club Premium. I believe the Pilsner and Club, I think, are from the same company. Somebody may have to correct me on that, but who the hell cares? Beer is beer. This is not about where this stuff's made. It's about how much it costs. It's important stuff. So, me personally, I like this stuff right here. I'll show you. This is my, my week and a half consumption that I buy at the store. This is, uh, you get 18 beers for the price of 16. And don't ask me why I didn't pick up an empty box. 
damn thing weighs 30 pounds. There's 16, 16 ounce beers in there, okay? Wow, I'm tired now. But anyway, I'm gonna start with some of these prices here. The Pilsner Long Neck, you'll see the pictures of it here. The Pilsner Long Neck six pack, as of the 21st of this month at Mega Maxi here in Monta, okay? Prices may vary depending on where you shop, especially in the smaller stores and the tiendas, you're gonna get, they're gonna be more probably there. Maybe some might be less. But anyway, a Pilsner Long Neck six pack is $6.15. A Club six pack Long Necks is $6.81. You can get that Pilsner, the big box that I just showed you there, I'm not going to pick it up again because I probably couldn't, is uh, $18. So you get 18 beers, Pilsner 16 ounce beers, that's the big, the tall can, big old fat can. I can't drink more than two of those in one day. There's eight. There's a dollar a piece, $18 for 18 beers. I think my math says that's a dollar a piece. Then there's Stella Artois, 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 six pack. I hate that beer and I'll tell you the reason why. They put this paper wrapping all the way up to the top of the neck and then when you pull, twist the top off of it, there's paper that sticks on there and you have to peel it all off because I don't like sticking that thing up to my lips and have paper sticking me on my lip. That's $8.76 for that six pack. They can have that stuff. Modelo, I think that's from Mexico. Modelo, six pack, $10.79. I was told that's a pretty good beer. I think I had that in Mexico, I think. Um, that sure rings a bell. Somebody correct me on that, please. Somebody help me get that straight because this is important stuff. We, you need to know about this, okay? Heineken. Heineken 12-pack is $15. And the reason why it's so high is because it's imported. All of these higher-priced beers, all the American beers, they're all going to be higher. Heineken 6-pack is $8.10. A so Budweiser Bud is a 6-pack is eight dollars and eighteen cents. Continue on the next page. Michelob Ultra Long Nets six pack. That's not bad. Seven dollars and fifty five cents. Michelob Ultra. I don't think that's too bad. Pilsner Light twelve pack is ten dollars and seventy nine cents. And according to what I read, the Pilsner Light is really popular here, probably more so than in the state. I mean, I know light beer is pretty popular in the states, and of course there's a lot more people there, but I read somewhere that it's like 55% of the beer drinkers here drink Pilsner Light. The rest of them drink Pilsner or, or Club. That's just what I'm reading. I'm not, that's not an official announcement, okay, coming from the government or anything. It's just what I read somewhere, and I'm sure somebody will come along and say, I'm wrong about that. There's another beer here called Cervera Prima, little six pack. I think those are little. I put in one of the pictures. I put my hand up in front because it's a tiny little six pack of beer. You can get that for a whopping four dollars and forty seven cents. It's the little. I'm pretty sure those are little eight ounce cans. And then there's Beck's beer. Not bad. Beck's beer is not too bad. Twelve pack for eight dollars and ninety five cents. And then there's a beer called Siembra. S I E M B R A, that's five dollars and sixteen cents. So that's what I found out on beer. Beer is reasonable. I think it's reasonable, especially if you drink the local beer. And I'm telling you, folks, the Ecuadorian beer is not bad at all. It's pretty good. Uh, some of it will kick you right on your ass too. To the wine, I like to drink red wine. I drink like a house wine. There's a wine they sell here. I think. I think the most popular wine here is from Chile. I don't know that Ecuadorian wine is all that great. That might come as a surprise, but talking to some other people, they, they, I think they would agree with me. I, I, more people said they like, uh, around here, the Chilean wine is a better wine than the Ecuadorian wine. For some of the higher end wine, you might get some better Ecuadorian wine, but I, who knows? But there's a, there's a wine that I drink called Mancura, You'll see the pictures of it here. 
it's a, a 175 liter is $8 and 15 cents. It's kind of comparable to this wine that I drank in Arizona called Woodbridge. And they only make red and Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. I haven't seen any white wine from them. I'm sure they might carry it. But I've also seen this Mancura wine, uh, red wine, in a couple of the bars around town. They also sell box wine here. Comes in a little, like a little milk carton. And you'll see in the pictures here, there's Gloss, G-L-O-S, box wine red. I think it's a one liter box. It's $5.56. And then there was another little box wine called Vina Santa Lucia. I'm pretty sure it's a, a one liter box. It's four dollars and a penny. Now, for the good stuff. You'll see in the pictures, I found some Russian, Russian vodka. One liter bottle, $8.79. And I found some good old tasty Siberian vodka. Got to be some good stuff. Five dollars and eighty-seven for a liter bottle. Five dollars and eighty-seven cents. You can buy several of those for the price of some of this other stuff. I'm going to read to you. But here's Sky vodka, one liter bottle for eleven dollars and thirty-five cents. Here's a whiskey that I found for Regalo Old Times Whiskey, $11.05. I found Grey Goose and Smirnoff Vodka. The Grey Goose was $43.30. And the Smirnoff, good old Smirnoff, $12.51. Found Dewar's White Label Scotch for $14.99. And I found some top of the line teachers 175 bottle of scotch for $14.35. That's got to be some good stuff. You know it. So, next page. I'm almost done here. I found Jack Daniels with two little shot glasses for $56.92. And the, the big winner for the day, I know there's some more, but this, I found Glen Fettich scotch which I believe is a single malt scotch. It's probably pretty good stuff. And it is a, I don't remember if it's a liter or a 175. I think it's a, a liter bottle. And here at Mega Maxi, you can pick it up today for $138.95. So that's it, folks. There's your prices on beer and wine in Ecuador. Uh, I know that this is a very important subject for a lot of you guys and you girls and I apologize for being so long getting it to you. Please don't beat me up in the comment section. If you have any more questions about any more uh, booze that you want to know, drop me a, an email and I'll go look it up for you. Okay? So, that's probably going to be the last video for this week. It's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to everybody and a Happy New Year. And I will be doing my QA7 video on Sunday to post on Monday, okay? So, from Manabi province here in Manta, I was told that I was not pronouncing Manabi correctly. It's Manabe, Manabe, the accent's on the I on the N. Manabi province here in Manta. Thanks for watching. I want my liver to think I'm doing the right thing. I'm back to work, B.